The Ukrainian army liberated new settlements in Bakhmut from occupation. Russian sources claimed that Ukrainian forces continued ground attacks north and southwest of Bakhmut. This was reported by the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, ISW. It is said that the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that elements of the southern grouping of forces, southern military district, repelled four Ukrainian assaults near Klishivka, seven kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, and Berkivka, six kilometers north of Bakhmut. A prominent Russian mill blogger claimed that Ukrainian forces entered Berkivka and that fighting was ongoing in the settlement. Wagner Group financier Yevgeny Prigozhin previously claimed that Ukrainian forces had captured an unspecified part of Berkivka. Other Russian sources claimed that Russian forces repelled Ukrainian assaults near Berkivka and that Ukrainian assaults occurred at least two kilometers away from the settlement. Another mill blogger claimed that Ukrainian forces advanced from Orikovo Vasilivka, 11 kilometers northwest of Bakhmut, and captured elevated positions along the E40 Bakhmut to Slovyansk Highway. Prigozhin also claimed that Russian forces lost unspecified positions near Rozdolivka, 18 kilometers northwest of Bakhmut. Russian mill bloggers claimed that fierce fighting is ongoing on the southwestern outskirts of the Bakhmut and that Ukrainian forces pushed Russian forces out of positions west of Klishivka. A mill blogger claimed that Russian special forces units are attempting to prevent Ukrainian forces from making a breakthrough near Klishivka. Another mill blogger claimed that Russian forces repelled Ukrainian assaults near Mayorsk, 21 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, and that fighting is ongoing near Ozaryanivka, 16 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Russian forces conducted unsuccessful offensive operations near Klishivka and Ivanivsk, 6 kilometers west of Bakhmut.